area, your flames burn bright. Anything else? No. <laughs> this guy. Um. Hmm. This guy is gonna try to break the tank. He's just gonna try and stab it. You do not want to do that. Uh, once and twice and none of those hits. Who cares, does the Barbarian Berserk if he's being hit in the tank? <laughs> no. <laughs> if he does pierce and hits Stolgek, am I just inside, like, in road rage? <laughs> That's no, kind of what um, I wanted to happen. You are not the tank. So, <laughs> as much as you want to, you're not the tank. Oh, damn it. Um, <laughs> this guy is just gonna try and suck a punch. Uh, Janice. I'm just going to stand there while he misses. Stolgeg. I'm coming in to hit this guy in the front again. Uh, the up one, so I'm gonna actually do damage. Plus Ooh. eight on both of those. Yup. For the hitch. Yup. This tank is a beast. Yeah. Is he dead? No, he is still alive, but you have chopped off one of his legs and, like, taken out half of his ribcage. Okay, I'm gonna, with the second lever, just turn it 90 degrees so I'm facing this guy. <laughs> um, this guy is gonna poke his head out. This time, shoot a Janice. Once and twice. Um, and yeah, they both hit. And... Do I give you two con saves or just one? Uh, just give me one because okay, it's a right. fail injury. Great. Um, okay, what's that? 10, 18. This guy sees that the tank is an actual threat. And he's gonna also try and take the tank down. But the tank is decidedly too tanky. <laughs> um, this guy realizes the problem and he's just gonna, without even disengaging, he's just gonna swim over here. Get behind the tank, you get your attack of opportunity if you wish. Uh, Mr. yes. Janice. Ow. Take that, sea heathen! Ow. And he, instead, is going to try and pry open the hatch. Oh, no. Let's see... Strength check. And ah. he fails miserably. Weakness. Janice! Um, okay, I'm going to... Short sword this guy next to me with plus player on. Alright. Yep. Uh, I'm guessing he's still alive. He looks like he would be about half health. Cool. I'm going to try and start chopping down his head. All right. And you start chopping. And you continue chopping, and he's still standing, but cool. he's not looking too good anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ! These guys are beefy. Look. Boris! It is I. I am still alive and I'm happy to be here. I want to trip over here. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, yeah. <laughs> I want to swim over here and for the first time in my life, 
actually. I'm gonna take out my amulet. And pray to you want, Do you want to disengage? Because if you don't, no. you're gonna get two attacks of opportunity. Why two? Because... Those two, yeah, I see. Uh, a guy here and a guy here. He does that, and the zombies are gonna get inside. That's true, so cool. Yeah, they're, they're trying to open the hatch here. Yeah. yeah, that one has been trying to get the hatch open, but failed miserably. Yeah. Okay, now I'm not gonna take attack of opportunity, so I'm gonna use my action to... ...use channel divinity to an undead. Oh, nice! Let's go! Hell yeah. So... Every undead that can see and hear me within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw with a DC. How much? I think that's my spell casting DC. Yes. Which is um. 16. Okay. I just try to keep it slow. Um, two. My... Those two are failing. That awesome. one. Sorry. Um, yeah, I just had to check that it's the right character sheet. That one is also failing. I have a question. What's their CR? Um, their two. CR is two. Two? Okay, never mind. They're, they're intact. And not destroy undead. Yeah. No. But they are now properly terrified. And they are gonna attempt to flee. Alright, very nice. Anything else? I have a bonus action that mm -hmm. I could use to heal up. But I won't do it now. That will be my turn. Alright. Um... All right, this guy, well, he is going to use the dash action to try and get the fuck away. Do you want to make a attack of opportunity with the tank? Absolutely. Okay. How does one dash underwater? <laughs> Would it just be the full Swim attack? Swim past. Or... Hmm? Would it just be a full attack? Yeah, just, uh, just a d20 plus 8, I think it was. No, it's just with one call. You only get one call, but it's fine. Okay. Does that hit? That hits. Nice. Damage. Crush him. Now, the real question is, do you get Sentinel on that? I'm gonna say no, alright? Because you lack the finesse. Oh. As he just fucking bolts it. This guy uh, has a problem because he's currently being murdered by a very angry ranger, so he's gonna try and sucker punch you. Yeah, I get sucker punched. And he's disappointed that you're still alive. Stolgig! I'm gonna kill this thing in front of me. You see the fear in its eyes. Perfect. You can tell it's preparing to- Jesus! Okay. The first one doesn't hit, but the second one deals double damage. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Does it cut him in half at least? Is one- doesn't one attack deal 2d6? Uh... I think they both do, don't they? Each claw. Yeah, uh, roll me another 2d6 because it crits. I thought we were just going to double it, like, from that. Um, ow. 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 Yup. Ow. That's just rude. I got something more in store for him if he ain't dead. <laughs> Do they okay. have swim speed, Scarab? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. They do. Cool. 
are made for this. All right, well, you just ripped it in half, essentially, but it's still going. Hang on, I want to throw my second lever. All right. I want to yeah. mow him down. <laughs> Travel 30 feet. <laughs> no, that was the second lever, wasn't it? That was the first. The first one was the reaction, wasn't it? No, no. At the start of your turn, you did... You rolled a 3 and you rolled a 20 for your um, levers. The first lever didn't hit and the, uh, the first claw didn't hit and the second one crit. Uh, but number 5 it does each extended claw so both claws go for the one lever. Yes. Which one claw rolled a 3 and the other claw rolled a 20. Yeah. Right? Or am yep. I being stupid right so now? So you're using the you're using the liver twice to extend each claw. It's not each claw at the same time. Okay. From what I understand no. from what you said. No, it he uses the lever and both claws attack. Mm -hmm. But they still roll separately. Yeah, but the apparatus gives two. Oh he gets two attacks! Sorry. Yeah, two lever Sorry. two lever extensions. So I could do yes, two, my two bad. With it. No, okay. I thought it was just one. I'm sorry. Yes, go do things. Go wild. He did. That's run the move run was with the, uh, the wind. The move was the second one. All right. You rush over there. All right. Um, this guy pokes his head out, realizes that there is a big problem with the bloody cleric. So he's going to shoot at the cleric. Yeah. And fucking hell. And he can go back in. This guy is sprinting away. Do you want to do an attack of opportunity soon? Yes. Yes, I would like to. That would be my place I work on. There it is. Where is the tile? Oh, yeah. But he's still- you shatter a kneecap and he still manages to swim away. And this guy just bolts in peace because he just used a reaction. Yep. Janice! There is all of a sudden a giant ass tank next to you. I pay no heed to the tank and continue to chop this thing's head off. Alright. Do eat. I don't understand why I have such bad delay. It's fascinating. Uh, um, Alright, it is holding on. The inuits are spilling out. Um, oh, that was with around. Colossus Slayer, sorry. So we take off the six, I think. Six. Alright, it's still alive then. Awesome. Are you serious? Oh, so and it's Colossus dead. again. <laughs> Shit. It's <laughs> the master. Right. Um, all right, cool. And then I'm going to grab its head and I'm going to, I can only swim half my speed, can't I? Why? Isn't that, oh, wait, no, I, oh, no, wait, I can swim 60 yeah. feet, it's my cloak. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to swim all the way up here. All right. And hop, take the dude's head and just hold it in my hand. <laughs> yeah, it is incredibly gross because you're basically getting getting a bunch of rotten stuff in your face and mouth and everywhere, and it's really not fun fighting undead things underwater. That's alright. Um, <laughs> Boris. It is I again. I wonder what can I do. It is he. How far can I swim? And what is it you put today, right? Um... Doesn't a... Wait, let me check. I don't think Potion of Breathing is one. It's going to be good. Um... Yeah, it's difficult to make. Yeah, it's difficult to make for you. Okay, so... I'm going to spend... Dash action. Yeah. Never dashed so slow. But I you can get to the tank and hold on to it. Uh, that also takes 25 feet, yeah. 
Those but then the tank cool. will take you with him, you know, when he moves. <laughs> so. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Alright. This guy is gonna keep running away like a mad lad. Bear back, sorry. Um, Stolgeg. You have would... picked up a passenger. Yeah, that's cool. What is this he on the back? That requires a full lever pool. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, don't do it under don't do it underwater. Now, if I were to use the dash of the tank. Yes. And Attempt to ram both of these individuals. How much damage would that potentially deal? Oh, the the two that are swimming away. Mm -hmm. Or actually, I suppose if I'm gonna ram anyone, I should ram the one that's still in the fight. <laughs> um, if you want, I'll. Let you okay. How how far would you be dashing approximately? Forty feet. Do up to um, 40. if you want to use the dash and slam basically just through the hole into the assassin. Um, I would say you would do um forty six bludgeoning damage to him. Four. But it would destroy parts of the ship. Do I do it while Shadows isn't here? <laughs> hey, Janice can't tell you what to do right now. It's true, it's true. No one can tell Shadow what to do, really. But... Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. I, 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 I heard. I can hear a mysterious voice that's obviously from outside the ship, but I think it's my own subconscious, and I won't do it. <laughs> I heard I'll only two, and it. I'll just turn to the right with one lever pull, and then move 30 feet closer with the other. Alright, and you drag Boris with you. Alright, anything else? Ah, that's it. Okay. This guy... Nope, Boris is gone. Nope, he's back. Um, this guy is popping out. And he is going to stab them. Actually, he's gonna pop out and he's gonna swim down. He's gonna risk the attack of opportunity from the ranger. And he's gonna go after Boris. Janice, give me an attack of opportunity if you can. Thank you. That is, that just barely doesn't go through his um, armor. And two god damn it. And as a bonus action, oh not as a bonus action because he can. Oh, he can't do that. Okay, never mind. That's all he's gonna do. These guys are continuously just getting further away from you. Just running away, and next turn I'm gonna take them out of initiative. Should've gone. Should've gone. <laughs> Janice! Can't talk, sandwich. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um. Oh, I realize it was muted still. Uh, how's he looking? Is he um, hurt much or? He has not been hit at all yet. I didn't hit him with uh, my short sword before? Nope. Even with that? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, Alright. I am going to start hacking away then. No. This guy has 14 AC. Ah, uh, yup. Yup. Uh, second one. Oh, fucking ow. Oh. Ah, excuse me. No, I'm gonna so, wave that head in his face again. Alright, you wave the head in his face, you get more super gross uh, 
water in your mouth and nose. Boris, yes, the second. tank taxi worked fairly well and you're now right in the face of a really pissed off on bed. Yes. Guiding bolt on this enemy. Just in one level. Well, um, isn't guiding bolt a ranged spell attack? It is, but what do you do with that? <sighs> Let me. I don't think so. I've never heard about disadvantage on magical nature attacks. It actually doesn't mention anything about um, magic in the underwater combat. No, no, it's not underwater combat. There is something like it in my Pathfinder. Um, that's not all I know about that. Uh, it's fine. I'm. I know there's. Just fire you. You spell. Let's throw away. Let's throw away. No worries. I'll take that attack opportunity. No, no, it's all good. Just cast it normally. Don't worry about it. Alright. Okay, both level one. Take it. Never mind. <laughs> it no, speak. it just sizzles past his head, unfortunately. Ow. Alright, this guy has left the map. Stolgeg. Uh, the first one hits, the second one hits. Yup, do you dunk? Jesus fucking Christ, the tank is going wild. The champ. The underwater heavyweight champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Um... And I can actually flick the lever again and do that a second time. Yes, you can. Do you want to do that? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, the first one hits, the second one misses. As he is growing wise to your bullshittery. All right. Um, he will though continue to try. Actually, you know what? You see him reach up to his face, and he pulls off. Um, his mask and you see a really gruesome rotten face and give everyone give me a DC 13 wisdom saving throw please back off Joel <laughs> I, need, I need to roll 5 or higher oh thank god I need to roll wait five would Stolga have to even though he's in a tank I have windows yes. yeah Ah, oh, yes, please. I got lights. I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, Mr. Cleric, you nice. are frightened until the end of this thing's next turn. So for now, you're frightened. Yeah. Um, well, that did not go as it was hoping. Uh, this guy leaves the map, this guy leaves the map. Janice! Okay. Ow. It is still alive, though. Ha. Ow. How's he looking? Is he, like, very close to death? Extremely wounded. Okay. Extremely. I want to grab the head and throw it at his head. Sure. <laughs> what, do you, what do you need from me? Roll me a d20 plus your strength. Wouldn't it just be a d20 for my attack and that's it? Well, plus strength. Plus strength. Alright. No, uh, it will count as improvised weapon, right? Yeah. But oh, just a d20 then. Alright. Um, you throw it and it flies past him and sort of... Like, and now that I've distracted him... Right. 
Now that you've distracted him, you stab him in the heart, and he's dead. It was my all plan right. all along. Right, <laughs> right, you were like, look! I, I get it, I get it. But someone understands. Uh. Uh. Alright. Um. Well. You I'm... have successfully murdered slash scared off a bunch of spooky boys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What all over. the plan? Well, I'm assuming we're going to go inside, yes? Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, is sneaking even a thing underwater? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you can try to... Right. Uh, Swim quietly, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Um, when you make a ranged attack with a weapon, a spell, or some other means, you have disadvantage on the attack roll if you are within five feet of a hostile creature. Oh, right, yeah. That makes so sense. it is disadvantage for spells. Sorry, I just... Mm. All good. Um, yeah, so are you bringing the tank? I'm like assuming, yes. Right. Um, I mean, in that case, I, unless he can, can he, you, you can turn off the lights, right? Yeah, I'll fix the lights. And so turn there is no way he can go through the inside of this ship without making noise, though, because he will have to break his way through a bunch of debris. What about if we you go got... from the top? Yeah, still, you can definitely slip through. But not the tank. The tank is too fat. All right. If we're bringing the tank, then we can't still. Um, Essentially. Maybe I'll just sprint back. Sprint, swim back to the, the tank if things get hairy. Well, this might also be a pretty good. Yeah. Stop anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can take the tank until about here if you start from the top. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, it's just a tangled mess of stuff in the way that you would have to break through. So if you want to leave the tank in in there at that height, basically, so you can sprint back out to get it, you can do that. Can I, yeah, can I, I just... Sure. You first. I was just saying, can I just, like, peek my head in through here and see what's, what's basically inside, or is it just pitch black? I can't really see much. I think um, it would be, right? I mean, I, I got dark it... Yeah, you have dark vision. You can see a uh, an eerie, many-colored light pulsing from the depth of the hole, but you can't see what's causing the light. Um, you can't see the bottom again because there's just so much debris in the way. Like you can get around, but it the many layers are obstructing your views. Yeah. Okay. So you have to go in to see what's going on. Yeah, I. Feel like it might just be best just to bang our way through here. Like I, I don't know if there's any point to just sorry phrasing. Um, I don't know if there's any point to actually, you know, smash our way through everything and then come to where we're already at. If we can keep most of this intact, wherever whatever this is, an entangled mess, and just bore a hole through here, get the tank in, and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to break through everything, it's not a problem. Um, the ship is wedged, you can just... It's not going to move too much, even if you bring in the tank to tear up the inside. Yeah. Um, I was just saying, the, the top part is fairly free of debris, Yeah. so yeah. he can park the tank in there if you want to. Okay, I'm guessing this whole upper area is... Um... Like, what? Is there, like, no walls or anything? Is that why he can kind of swim through? Or... Yeah. Um, there is a bit of debris, but most of it has basically sunken down. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there really so... wouldn't be anything up. No. How tall is the ship? Like, from what we can see. Um, it's half of a war gallon. Um... I think this is actually to scale, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. What? Uh, Let's see. Okay. 
was, I was gonna say, if we want to go loud, like, yeah, we can just do that. I'm happy to just barge in through the middle of the ship. But if we want to go quiet, I could maybe just hover around the top in the tank, point it down, and just, if things get hairy, you guys just send the signal and... <laughs> I mean, if there's if there's nothing really like up there that's going to be like holding loot or anything like that, I I wouldn't be too concerned about. Yeah, no, definitely about, not. Like you know, having to keep the the thing up there, I I said we just barge in the side, and I will I'll like me and Boris can either stay ahead or Boris can stay with the machine, and like if we see anything that needs to be like looted or anything, we can say like you know halt before you go crashing through shit, and then just like do it that way. Judging by um the size of the ship and how much you can see you figure that around 15 to 20 um feet of ship are like underneath the the seabed okay so from here to down there it's like so about a third of the ship's still and... there. yeah all right okay not an unreasonable amount of room to so the tank through. can definitely do a dash for example yeah. Alright, cool. But well, I would say we keep the, the thing at the bottom for next time. Alright. Glorious. The rift. The thing that's stolen my bow. <sighs> I agree. We're just not never gonna find that bow. <laughs> I will find that bow, alright. This campaign will not end until I bow in my hands. That's exactly right. The campaign will never oh, end because the bow will never be in your hands. I just moved you guys. That's not a me problem. <laughs> no, stop looking at the map. Oh my god, everything's breaking. Back. It's all right. It's it's taking oh. a little bit to load, so we're not seeing anything. Oh, and I've ah. already changed scenes, so whatever that was Maybe. did not go into. Anyway. Uh, thanks for DMing today, Scaraba. As always, it was fun. Thank you for playing. Uh, cheers for playing today, guys. And we will be back again on Saturday for some Gang Lords of Lankmar. Um, where are we up to? We are just about to go to... No, we just the pits. Where were we going to? Gang Lords? Um, well, it's really up to you guys, but day three is the next part, and that is, I believe, the Rat Shrine. The Rat Shrine, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. So that should be very interesting. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's the Dogfish Morning. That's right. Oh, yes. Yes, no, yes. true. You deal with Drani. Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. Oh, we already took took care of someone that was tougher, so no dramas. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ipsh. Remember to grab the money. <laughs> we didn't have time to do that. I'll I mean, tell, I'll not say it again. He, he won't have any money because he doesn't get to loot the dogfish because we're going to kill him before he can. He might, have, he might have looted all the places before. This is true. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I will not be back tomorrow or Wednesday. I will be back Thursday and Friday as well for some uh, Ishin Like a Dragon. So if you guys want to come hang out, come hang out. Um, as always, 6.30 p.m. So I'll see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your week. And goodbye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Yos amigos.